AI is still in the early phases of its life. Fortunately, we've exited the true experimental phase and we're now going into the narrow use case phase of it where you're seeing applications of it in a production environment that are hyper-targeted, very specifically trained, the performance is controlled, and we've seen a lot of examples of that, more and more and more, but we're still building by ones. All right, it's a single Lego block at a time, a single model, a single model. We have not yet gotten to the place where true federated learning is happening, where these distributed models can evolve and we can you know, more effectively monitor drift and performance in production. That is definitely the next step. And I think what gets exciting at that point is that some of the boundaries associated with innovation and the pace of that innovation when you are restricted by controlled release go away because it means that you can more dynamically tailor AI to the environment that it's actually operating in, even if you've built a core model. And what that means for our customers is that we have the ability to build these use case models and then we have the ability to evolve them in those specific environments. And that to me is the most exciting next step. There were three main things that brought me to Big Bear. The first was our purpose. The idea of creating a better world through better decisions is, I think, something that we can all relate to. The second thing was the people. Not only the caliber of subject matter expertise and the sheer quantity of it, but the humanity that exists and the ability and the, the complete acceptance of being your true self is still a relatively hard thing to find in the professional world these days, and it exists in spades here at Big Bear. The third thing is the opportunity. We are, without question, sitting on some of the best technology I've come across in my career, and we have every opportunity in front of us to become an extremely dominant player in what is an emerging market category. It was an easy decision. Big Bear has a unbelievable legacy of working with the federal government, particularly in the defense and intelligence space. We're 19 agencies, we have decades of experience and subject matter expertise in this space. And when we think about what's possible in the future, what I see very clearly in front of me is that there is a lot more we can do. We have technology that is, in some cases, maybe being incubated on the commercial side. Maybe we're seeing it used in small to medium-sized businesses but we learn over time that there's a high degree of applicability in the federal space. And for me, there's an incredible amount of excitement there because I look at how many challenges we could contribute to solving in the federal world, and I think we're just getting started. The role of decision makers and decision making is something that's universal. Regardless of the category or the industry that you function in, leaders are required to make decisions at a varying spectrum right, of severity and risk associated with them, but the fundamentals of that are quite transferable. And when we think about the application of artificial intelligence, when we think about the application of software that is rooted in the ability to support decision making, the relationships and the domain expertise that we have in the federal space are highly transferable because large global enterprises are dealing with many of the same challenges on a global basis that the federal government is. And there is an incredible amount of value that we can deliver to them from our work that I believe we are just at the beginning of.